Okay, this is a, a quick and uh, fast way and an easy way of how I found out how to sharpen scissors. I've seen a lot of uh, videos on YouTube. I'll put a little water on here. Rub it in. And then what I'll do is on the scissors, you got the angle on this side here. Have the angle. Sorry if I go out of the out of focus here or out of the picture. And then you have the flat, which is this part here. And uh, what I found it to be the best way of sharpening is just using the flat. Put that flat right on the stone, a little pressure, and back and forth. And you can actually uh, feel it. I'll do a a grittier and then I'll do the fine when I'm finished. Putting I think a little bit more pressure on this side here where the blade is actually the cutting part of the blade. All kinds of motions I'll go around and I'll just go straight and back. You can be careful not to cut yourself as you go along doing this. This can catch and come at you like that. Turn this stone around. I'm actually doing a circular motion now. Speed up the camera so uh, this won't be boring. Keeping it flat. Okay, we have enough water on here, the residual water from the other side. This is the finer. Keeping it flat. You want this to be flat. No bevel on that. I'm keeping the flat, but I'm kind of putting more pressure to where the cutting part is. Okay. If there's a noise going. The fan, I got a fan pretty close to the camera. We have a little muffin fan here that makes a little more noise than the big fan in the 8 inch. I feel the stone actually working. And it's grinding the sharpness on this. Okay. I 
right, let's get a piece of paper. Another piece of cardboard. And for the battery of my one of my calculators. There you go. I do not know how long this will last, this shopping, because this isn't one of the better pairs of scissors that I can imagine. I'm really not an expert on scissors, but I think these were a, a lower version on price. But it'll do the trick for the time. There you go. Have a good day, folks. Ciao.